Renewable electricity in New Zealand is primarily from hydropower. In 2015, 83% of the electricity generated in New Zealand came from renewable sources. In September 2007, former Prime Minister Helen Clark announced a national target of 90% renewable electricity by 2025, with wind energy to make up much of that increase. The resource consent process has favoured non renewable energy projects. This century, thermal projects have received consents Rodney, Stratford, while several renewable energy projects have had consent applications declined Afitu, Mokau Hydro, Mount Cass, Project Hayes, Te Waka, Waitahora. Sources Topic: Hydroelectricity. Topic: Geothermal power. Geothermal power is a significant part of the electrical energy generation capacity of the country, providing approximately 16% of the country's electricity with installed capacity of 971 MW. New Zealand, like only a small number of other countries worldwide, has numerous geothermal sites that could be developed for exploitation, and also boasts some of the earliest large-scale use of geothermal energy in the world. <laughs> Wind power As of December 2014, New Zealand had an installed wind generation capacity of 683 MW. The first generation of wind power into the national grid was in 1992 and it now provides approximately 5% of the country's electricity demand. Consents have been granted for wind farms with a further capacity of 2,200 MW. Ocean power New Zealand has large ocean energy resources but does not yet generate any power from them. TVNZ reported in 2007 that over 20 wave and tidal power projects are currently under development. However, not a lot of public information is available about these projects. The Aotearoa Wave and Tidal Energy Association was established in 2006 to «promote the uptake of marine energy in New Zealand». According to their latest newsletter, they have 59 members. However the association doesn't list these members or provide any details of projects from 2008 to 2011 the government energy efficiency and conservation authority is allocating 2 million dollars each year from a marine energy deployment fund set up to encourage the utilization of this resource the greater cook strait and kaipara harbor seem to offer the most promising sites for using underwater turbines Two resource consents have been granted for pilot projects in Cook Strait itself and in the Torrey Channel, and consent has been granted for up to 200 tidal turbines at the Kaipara Tidal Power Station. Other potential locations include the Manuko and Hokianga Harbors, and French Pass. The harbors produce currents up to 6 knots with tidal flows up to 100,000 cubic meters a second. These tidal volumes are 12 times greater than the flows in the largest New Zealand rivers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Annual electricity generation. A glance at these figures shows that for the stated target to be attained, current thermal generation will have to be decommissioned and not replaced. 
Even if the annual total consumption doubles from the 2005 figure as it did from 1975 to 2005, with all additional generation met by non-thermal means, a static thermal generation of 14,305 on a total of 83,340 is still 17%. The most likely candidate for decommissioning would be the 1000 MW Huntley Power Station, a coal and gas power station that was commissioned in 1983. While there are some non-technical barriers to the widespread use of renewables, global warming concerns coupled with high oil prices and increasing government support are driving increasing growth in the renewable energy industries. To boost the renewables ratio, geothermal power is counted as renewable, although the geothermal heat reservoirs are eventually depleted, observably so at Wairaki, the longest running, and they are not emission free. For example, the Nafa geothermal field emits an unusually high amount of CO2, 350 tons CO2 per gigawatt hour, and the geothermal fields plus natural hot springs draining to the Waikato River deliver sufficient arsenic to render the water unsafe to drink without special treatment. Reinjection of the waste geothermal fluid can reduce these problems even extending the life of the field, but involves additional expense. See also Electricity sector in New Zealand Energy in New Zealand Solar power in New Zealand Biofuel in New Zealand Renewable energy in New Zealand